Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain making connections between G CP1, HPLC and Smart Step 2. Here is our CP1, HPLC and here is our Smart Step servo driver. And here is our the cable control cable. Actually it's control cable looking like this. And this control cable contains these colorful cables and all of the colors correspond to some numbers and all of these numbers correspond to some specification signals like 24 volt positive or clockwise output, counterclockwise output. Okay, let's move on for first uh, to Number one, these connections uh, show differences according to PLC's output type. As you know that PLC's output can be changed like PMP or MPN. And our PLC is, has MPN output. That's why we will make connections according to MPN types. Let's let's start with first first one number one because of the MPN connection we must start with 22 24 and one cables to the let's let's look from here 22 cables coming from 24 volt positive and Actually, 24 2 coming from 24 positive and 1. Here is a 1. 1 24 volt input is going to our power supplies positive terminal. And this is the second one. As you, as you can see from here, the, in front of the second one, uh, there is a, a resistor which is. 2 kilo because of the our PSC's output uh, 24 volt and our smart step servo driver working with 5 volt we should decrease the voltage from 24 volt to 5 volt in order to in order to decrease this uh, we should use 2 kilo ohm resistor please do not forget that there will be uh, big mistakes, big uh, damage on your servo driver if you wire directly to servo driver. I have tried in the past, please don't try it. There will be no good things if you connect it directly to, from to the here. Okay. Uh, From 20, 23, which is, let's look at the color by the way. 23 is correspond to black three dots on the gray cable. By the way, if you don't have <coughs> this cable, if you want to make your own cable with solder, and if you, if you buy, if you bought this terminal, this, this socket, you can solve you can solder your connections according to these numbers these numbers for example if you want to solder your uh, clockwise output you should solder your cable to 23 like here okay but today we are talking about this cable that's why this 23 number will enter to port 0. Why port 0? Let's look at the CP1H data sheets page. Here is a clockwise pulse output 0, port 0. It is correspond to pulse output 00, zero clockwise. And the, for clock, counterclockwise, it is 25, as you can see. 25 is going to 100.01.
which is here 100.01 country code price ok these are also ok and for run signal from 2 we must connect to where is it we must connect from the PLC output from from here there is no difference between you can connect actually you can connect wherever you want from the output uh, I have I have connected with this one 101.00 terminal it will change nothing you can connect your run signal wherever you want and let's focus on the run signal like that you can you should write you should wire to your connections to 00, zero from run signal and there are compors actually you should wire negative 24 volt these compors in order in order to get a negative 24 volt output let's look at like this here is a grant and also this is the fifth one fifth one the grant the grant passing through to here and goes on 24 volt minus and these comports of run signal and pass output signals comports coming through to 24 volt input terminal minus negative one you should wire like this that's all for connections actually now we can test our code and connections with doing application Let's be online first and active the run contact and active the, our settings that we wrote before and active the trigger. Our motor start to rotate as you can see but uh, it will rotate continuously because we are in the relative mode as you remember and we will give output continuously from here trigger we must changes differentiate as a up increasing edge if we change this it will rotate five turns in every active uh, increasing edge. As you can see, as you can see, yes, this is our PLC, by the way. Yes, this is the end of this video. Thanks.